controversy of my Crying Children series, which really sort of took me a little bit by surprise because I didn't really think it was controversial that children cry. These were very, very quick photo shoots with lollipops, or yeah, where in some cases nothing was needed to get the kids to cry. So he interviewed me, and he also inter interviewed this one blogger who blogged under a pseudonym and who blogged that I was a sick woman who should be arrested and charged with child abuse. So it sort of took off from there. Um, it was sort of insane. Um, death threats, um, crazy emails, my agents getting psychotic emails. What's interesting about controversy, I guess, is you know, it gets your pictures out there. Um, <laughs> you know, as an individual artist, I don't have to temper myself in any way um, when I'm on a commercial assignment, but I was assigned by The Atlantic. They called me to shoot McCain, and um, they didn't really have enough money for me to do it. They weren't paying me to do it, and so I thought, well, I can do it, and then I'll own the photos, like I always do, um, and, you know, in exchange for me doing it for them as sort of as a favor, favor because I was working for free, they can have, the, you know, they'll have the one photo for one time for their magazine cover. And I decided to make some personal images with the pictures. I really didn't want there to be another Republican in the White House, so I decided to put my McCain pictures out on voting day. Because it really what I thought was, you know, it was like a political cartoon, and I thought it was the artist Jill Greenberg appropriating the work of the commercial photographer Jill Greenberg. It's crazy how different things are, where, you know, corporations are really controlling our editorial content and the way that everyone's presented. It's a decision that we all have to make. How much do you push the envelope? Um, you know, I, I think creativity comes from being open and open to possibilities. And I think fear is the opposite of creativity and will block it. Um, I think you must think and plan and make work and show it to others you respect and then confirm that it's good and then put it out there. You can't be afraid. The mission of the artist is to test the conceptual and imagistic envelope of what society is willing to tolerate, to dissolve the conceptual boundary of ordinary expectation. Mm -hmm.